Come in. Oh, hey, Searing Mayhem here. Today we're going to be doing the tour of my, our brand new Bass Cat Caracal. It is silver, purple, gray, and black. It's a super nice boat. It's a 2015 year model. I'm going to go ahead and go over our, our standard components. Here we have a Mercury Pro XS 225. Um, it's, a, it's a straight injection. A direct injection, I'm sorry. We have an Atlas jack plate. We also have two fuel tanks. So if we run out of fuel in our right tank, we fill it, we switch it to our left tank and we get more fuel. And our other components that we have is the HGS Larench 12s. I have one back here. And I have one up here. My trolling motor is a um Minkota Ultrax. 85 pound thrust with a 58 inch shaft um okay let me get into the boat and i'll show y'all around so my first box that i'm going to show y'all is our daily box which has all our soft plastics in it it is full of soft plastics it's pretty deep it's about uh i'd say to right here and it's a pretty small box but it holds a lot of soft plastics my second box that I am going to go over is going to be just like where we put our hoodies and our suits and other tackle that we don't really use all the time. I'm going to go ahead and shut this box and show you our next one. This one right here is for like our fly jackets and we put some of our suits and stuff in there next box if I can get this one closed my next box is going to be my tackle box for all my tackle it's pretty dirty but gotta pull the wax out I've got a lot of room down in here like there's Tons of tackle done in this little box, and this is my favorite box in the boat, if you want to consider it that, but yeah, this is my, all my tackle and stuff that goes in here, the wax goes in here, the wax boat after we're done fishing, the most important box, I gotta put the troll rubber down real fast. The next box is going to be my rod box. This box has the most money in it in the boat. We have about probably 15, 20 rods in this box. It's a lot of storage, it holds a lot. I'm gonna go on to the next box. This one is also more storage, but we have more fishing rods. <clears throat> The stuff that we don't use all the time is in here. Like our deep diving crankbaits and our drop shots and Alabama rigs and all that stuff. My next box is going to be just some more storage we use to put worms in. <clears throat> this box comes in help in handy when you're on the water and you run out of your, like your favorite bait, it, there's always more in there. And then, there's still a lot of wells. And they're pretty deep. We got the oxygenator in there. Hold on one second. Are they on? We also have lights in here. You, you you may not be able to tell, but there's one LED little light bulb in here. It's pretty cool. And I like 
I like these live wells because they're they're big and they can hold most year most year fish. My next favorite thing about this boat is the handrails. These handrails light up, so in the mornings you can take these handrails and turn them on, and your people can find you. Our next favorite box is our trash box. It's got like our rope, our umbrella, and stuff in it. My next favorite, or maybe not my favorite, but it keeps all our stuff clean and stuff. We have hooks, we have worms, and some rags in there. And we put our phones and our sunglasses in there. It's my dry storage box. Right here on the center console. It's pretty good. Usually under it, in a lot of bass boats, is an ice chest, but not in this one. I don't know why, but it's not. Our next box is going to be like some accessories that you need for when the game wore in the stops and stuff like that. Or, hold on, let me get this jacket out the way. You have your first aid kit and you have your fire extinguishers. Put this jacket back in here. This, this inside liner also comes out. This is really like your main trash can, but we don't use it as one. This box right here is our battery box. It's got like our fuel tanks, our batteries, everything in here. The next box on this boat is our oil tank. It's right here. If I can get it open, there we go. They segregated the oil tank away from all this, like, in the older bass cats, it's in there with the batteries. It gets everything greasy and stuff, and oily. Not in the, not in the newer ones. They're segregated away from everything. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna show you my um, console, and then. That's probably all I got for y'all today, guys. I got my console. It's got lures and reels, broken reels and all that stuff in there. And then, I have all our gauges and stuff. I have the radio, master power um, panel, master power switches down here. It's weird because all the older bass cats have the key like right here. This one has it over here. We have the um, Atlas jackpot thing, the monitor. We have the Atlas jackpot trim, and then we have the motor trim. We have the fuel fuel gauge, the trim gauge, the water pressure gauge, and the RPMs. This boat is super fast. The fastest it's ever went is in Louisiana when we went 78 miles an hour. It's fast. Our... I'm not going to turn this on because I don't want everybody to try to steal my waypoints and stuff. But it's our HDS-12. I love these things. They're super clear and you can see everything that you need to in them. And they're super good for deep water. <coughs> Shout out to Tackle Attic, McCain, Costa, and Lawrence. And Bass Cat, of course. Um, there is the ice chest and then some more storage under there, but we can't use it because we have the console on there. But that's about all I got for y'all today, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to make sure to like and subscribe on this video. And if you haven't already, turn your post notifications on. And thank you for watching. See you, Rude Mayhem.